The Air Jordan 34 Low coming in the white cement colorway will be dropping relatively soon. So make sure that you guys stay tuned. You like that? You like that? I did too. Let's get into it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy T. McNeil and this is indeed the DC Show. So if this is your first time here, make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. As it says on your screen, I would definitely appreciate that. Especially if you're looking for the latest information in sneaker news, reviews, updates, and the newly acquired sneaker bargains. We're talking about copping sneakers out here for $100 or less. This is the place to be. All right, y'all. So make sure that y'all continue to rock with it, brother. Stay tuned and uh, keep your eyes peeled, man, and your ears open for that last segment. We're talking about that uh, $100 or less because I am starting to get some sneakers in. So like I said, just stay tuned, man. I'm going to be filling that section up quite a bit here lately because at the end of the day, I myself want to save some bread. All right. And obviously, I'm sure you guys, my audience, want to save bread as well. Uh, simply because there's nothing wrong with that, okay? And as I stated before, anytime you know you get a shoe out there for hundred dollars or less, a lot of people seem to have this preconceived notion, once again, that you're not getting a great shoe simply because you're not paying an arm and a leg. And that, my friends, is not always the case. Because usually, like I said before, anytime you get really high quality shoes for hundred dollars or less, that's what it is, they're high quality. I mean, the materials are good, the colorways are good. It's going to rival or match anything out there, pretty much, in my personal opinion. You guys let me know how you feel about it. It's going to match anything out there that's going to cost you $250, $300 and up. Okay? Again, that's coming from me. All right? But that's not why we're here today, man. Once again, we're here to talk about these Air Jordan 34 lows. All right, y'all, coming in the white cement colorway. So I want to get you guys thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, the deal is, guys, I'm looking at them now. I know you guys are seeing them in the thumbnail, but I'm like, yeah, it says 34 low. You guys have seen the Edge on 34s. They really don't look that different from a, a regular 34. Okay. Now, what I probably would end up doing and would really like to do, um, which will be kind of hard because I don't own a pair of 34s, but um, stay tuned. I will be adding one of these 34s to my sneaker collection. I'm not sure which one yet. There's a vast majority of colorways out there right now to choose from. But what I would like to do is kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison. I would like to have, let's say, like these 34 low white cements and like the Black Cat 34s, okay? Do a side-by-side -side comparison. You know, do some type of uh, measurement comparison just to kind of see exactly how much lower these 34s really are as compared to the original 34s, okay? So that's something that I would definitely like to do. Um, let me know guys down below if that's something you would like to see. All right, but yeah, man, these are supposed to be coming out relatively soon. Um, right now, they don't have a price point. Um, they don't have a release date. Actually, I take that back. They do have a price point, but they don't have a release date. Okay, so let's let's uh, correct that right now. As far as the retail price, guys, you're looking at 165 US dollars. Okay, y'all, for this particular one, I think the Air Jordan 34s typically run about, I think between 180 and 185. Okay, so ironically, these are 165, and I'm just assuming that they're 20 to 30 dollars cheaper because they're low top. I, I think that's probably the case. It doesn't confirm that, but again, the OG 34s normally go for a little bit higher of a price. Okay, so for these to be a little bit less, I have to be safe to assume that this is the reason why the Nike and Jordan brand decided to go that route with the price. But once again, um, there is no official release date, so just make sure, man, that y'all stay tuned right here. Y'all keep it locked at the DC show. As soon as that information becomes available, I will be letting you guys know. All right. Now it does say, as always, it's available on eBay and Kixify. I can tell you guys right now, no, they ain't. <laughs> All right, they not on there. Okay, so um, just stay tuned, man. Like I said, when it when it drops, I got y'all. All right. So without further ado, man, let's show um, a few images that they do have. 
Now, uh, keep in mind that these images, um, it's, it's probably somebody that already was able to cop these joints ahead of time. And uh, officially, it's, it's what they should look like uh, once the real official shoe actually hits the market. But again, this is probably somebody that was able to cop them a little bit early or they got the plug somewhere when they was actually able to get their hands on them first. So just keep that in mind doing the images, man. And uh, let's show them joints and I'll be right back. everybody I'm officially back so let a brother know down below once again in the comment section how you guys feel about these edge on 30 floors coming in the white cement of course we're talking about the low top joints um they definitely put me in the mindset of the edge on three uh cement editions same type of cement colorway I'm definitely loving that man and um you know I, I think these joints are going to sell okay now given the fact that they are a low top if you guys have following the channel for a while you know how I feel about the low top shoes. I'm not a big fan of low top shoes, but at the end of the day, um, going back to what I said earlier about the fact that these Air Jordan 34s, Lowe's, and the original Air Jordan 34s, they kind of, to me, as far as what I can see, don't look that much different, which is the reason why I have to get my hands on them. And like I said, to do that comparison, so that way I can get a better understanding as to what you're getting okay so this is one of 34s that i may have to break the mold on simply because stylistic wise they don't look that different from the og 34s but also i'm loving this colorway okay so you guys let me know what you think quite a bit of white in there you know it, it's got all the mesh and all the stitching everything that makes it up to be a 34 you know guys Jumpman logos all over the place i'm definitely feeling that and on top of that you know we're talking about the midsole um that little crevice right there at the bottom kind of having that moon or that lunar effect to it so i'm definitely feeling that all right so if you guys have any comments and questions uh leave it down below brother get back to you also if you if you have not done so already make sure that you guys like comment and subscribe and last but not least do not forget to tap that bell symbol so that way you're always in the loop so once i put up new content for the channel you guys been on it and uh that way you won't miss nothing all right so don't forget man let me know if you guys want to cop or pass and once again, they are coming soon, probably in the summer. I, I, I can't really see them coming out anytime past the summer because then we're kind of going back into the fall months. Uh, you guys know the fall colorways usually change to darker colors, you know, like your blacks and things like that. So with these kind of being that low top, having that white and that red and that gray, it screams summer all day long. All right, but we shall see. So I appreciate you guys watching and listening and tuning in. Until the next time, make sure that you guys have a good one and you stay safe.